Welcome, my name is Ricky, and today we're going to be starting a new series on this channel called What Happens When, where we look at what happens when we do something different or maybe even just a little bit crazy with PC gaming hardware. Today we're going to find out what happens when I underclock my RX 460 by 50%. Now I'm sure you're wondering why. Well, why not? Also, there are two reasons why someone would want to underclock their graphics card. The first is actually three reasons all rolled into one. See, the card draws less power when it operates at a lower frequency. Drawing less power means less heat, and less heat means lower temperatures, and lower temperatures means lower fan speeds, and then lower overall case temperatures. How much? Well, we'll see. And the other reason is to fix driver crashes. Not all driver crashes, mind you, but if you do have a game that crashes your driver every like half hour or so, you might find that even a 10% underclock can end the crashing with no adverse effects on performance. Now let's get to the tests. Rocket League will be our test bench since it's one of the most budget-friendly modern titles. I've also decided to run the tests locked to 60 frames per second since that's the way most gamers want to play their games, you know, to give it a more real-world result. It also helps to keep the CPU out of it. And since my TV hates to be at anything other than its native resolution, all the tests were done at 720. I should tell you these tests were conducted before the autumn update on September 28th, but the gameplay you're watching is post-update. I doubt it affects the results, but either way, I thought it was worth mentioning. I used Manfield for the testing as it's the pitch I like the best that gave me fairly consistent results. Everything in the settings menu was either maxed out or checked, except the frame rate and weather effects. Also, the gameplay on screen is underclocked. The underclock frequency is 605 megahertz, and the stock clock is 1210 megahertz. At 605, the ARCS 460 pulled in an average of 17.2 watts. The fans stayed at about a quarter of their max speed at just under 1100 RPMs. The temperature maxed out at 44 degrees, and the game used about 67% of the GPU. At 1210, the RX 460 pulled in an average of 26.6 watts. The fans were the same as the 605 test. The temperature maxed out at 58 degrees, and the game used about 40% of the GPU. So a 50% underclock of the RX 460 draws 9.4 less watts, which is about 35% less power, and was 14 degrees cooler at the end of the match, with both tests starting at roughly the same idle temperatures in the mid 30s. The fan speed wasn't a surprise because I don't have the temperature target that low in Wattman. The usage wasn't that surprising either, but was only 27% higher than the stock speed. So there you have it. What happens when I underclock my RX 460 by 50%? Well, Rocket League is just as playable, and to be honest, so are quite a few other games. Dirt 4, Resident Evil 7, and Dishonored Death of the Outsider, just to name a few. Not all of them sat at 60, mind you, but definitely averaged over 30 in my admittedly limited testing. And all of them use less power, which then generated less heat, which led to a cooler computer. So if you have an idea for a video like this one, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.